what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so we're going to talk about final destination 6 in this video here again today we're going to be going over some more rumored plot details for the upcoming film now again i will stress that this is just rumored not confirmed has not yet been reported by any reputable trades or anyone involved with the production but nine times out of ten and the amount of times i have vetted this information I trust it is going to be confirmed sooner rather than later and because of the fact that the other things that I've been saying about Final Destination 6 have slowly but surely been coming to be true. So one thing I have been stressing over the past other videos, several videos I've done at this point, is that we are following the family of a woman named Esther who had a premonition several decades ago and she did something that no other person with a premonition had ever done previously which has set up something very humongous. In terms of death's design we were going to be following her family and it was going to be carried by her granddaughter named stephanie and her brother which is named charlie however that woman's name is not esther apparently that like i was saying i was alluding to the fact it could be a placeholder name her name is iris and iris is who is the person who is the grandmother to the family we're going to be focused on so her actual name is iris now during the opening sequence you will learn a lot of interesting details about iris that that go into the story that unfolds in the present time because again this is supposed to be a sequel to found destination 4 it is not a prequel like found destination 5 it's it's a sequel to all of the movies we've had so far a sequel to all five past films and it has a humongous connection to all of those films as well keeps them canon in a very big way so i saw something over on reddit in which someone i guess caught this post on brett brett bassinger's instagram or something she posted at some point where she had this inside of her trailer or caitlin santa Juana, i think was who posted this and they had this theory that perhaps there's something bridal going on or some type of wedding or something going on for iris now i will say this it's not a wedding but you are on the right track <laughs> there is something marital going on in that opening sequence but it's 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 not a wedding you're on the right track though that's all i will say uh brett bassinger as i've been saying is the one who's playing the younger version of iris i think i've said yvonne ferguson or yvette ferguson it's, i can't remember her name right now but what one of those two iterations of that name yvette or yvonne ferguson are supposed to be the ones playing the older iteration of esther that we will meet in present time while brett bassinger who was on set for a short amount of time this explains it she's only playing a flashback version of the grandmother so we'll just have to wait and see what all of that comes out to out to being when you get to witness the film next next year around the 25th anniversary some of the stuff i've also been hearing alludes to the fact that tony todd's character of william bloodworth is actually going by a different name or they've given him a new full name that's that's all i'll say and you do learn exactly how he stayed in the know about death the different ways he's learned about it and how he's just stayed on top of it all and how he's been able to share those things over the course of these last five films with the likes of Kimberly, Claire, Alex. But from what I am hearing, I felt as though while it adds some context to the character, I don't find it to be all that necessary. Now, I could disagree and end up not minding it at all once I see the film, but so far, I didn't find knowing that necessary. You also dive into some other factors about that character and how he has been connected to all the past five films as well in a very big way, just like the family that we're sending on has been connected to it all in a very big way. All of that comes together in this movie for Mr. William Bloodworth. So you definitely are digging into his past the way Bloody Disgusting reported we would. And I would say that aspect does sound satisfying, but the way in which they go about exploring how he stayed in the know about death and all of that stuff, without me seeing it, I don't like it. So maybe I'll like it once I see the movie, but for now, I don't like it. Now, if you don't want to know about any of the potential kills and the methods in which people are going to be dying in the film, then you shouldn't be watching. But apparently you can expect the tattoo parlor sequence that Craig Perry has teased us with and that has a lot of moving pieces to it uh it seems like it's apparently it was one of the more crowd pleasing moments I've heard you also will have a, 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 a MRI scanner death 
something with a dumpster truck, something with a lawnmower, and something with a billboard sign of sorts. So that billboard sign, of course, sounds like a callback to Carter, which I don't mind. So we have a lot of callbacks here. But the biggest piece of information that allegedly will occur in Final Destination 6 is the fact that it is going to call back to a very important topic that was introduced in a prior entry that has not been addressed since that entry. Now, for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, I am talking in this way to keep it as vague as I can so that way you are surprised when you watch it. But for those of you who know exactly what I'm talking about because you study Final Destination lore, you know what I'm talking about and you probably, it, also know who i'm talking about when i get to this part they are going to make mention of a past person that seemingly sets up a story to be told in a seventh film for this person so if you are looking forward to that you are going to be thrilled with how they bring up said person during the film now i did hear that the acting for the most part is good i've heard that it has a pretty killer soundtrack Granted, I do think that the soundtrack is going to be replaced. <laughs> Certain songs I heard didn't fit the overall story or just seemed out of place at times. But it seems like Final Destination 6 is something that will just be an okay movie. That's what I heard. And then I also heard that it's really good. So I, have, I haven't heard just straight up it's trash is, is a good thing at least. But it doesn't seem like it builds upon too much that we already know. And I know that's what some people might be wanting from a franchise that's been dead for over a decade at least come back and build upon your lore a bit and it doesn't really do that it kind of just starts bringing in things about the lore that we haven't had addressed since again a, a prior entry and now you're going to start toying with it so we'll have to wait and see what ends up coming of final destination 6 let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so you can never miss video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video